What's up guys? So I bought a few machetes in order to do a video on choppers. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to take uh, choppers at different price ranges and compare them from budget up to premium, you know, and compare them. Now, this is not a testing video. I'll save that for, you know, another video, but I thought this was a great time to show you guys what potentially a bad heat treatment looks like or possibly a very, very burnt edge. Now, I've only seen this a dozen times, maybe not even a dozen times in my entire, you know, history with sharpening and everything. Now, if you guys watch the channel, you guys might remember me talking about a Demco 80 20.5 that when I was sharpening, the, the burr was not coming up as a regular burr. It was coming up like, like flaky, like flakes, literally like flakes. And I wasn't the only one. Other people sent me videos of them having the same issue. Now, this was a Demco 80 20.5 that came from, I believe, the first batch that ever dropped. They came from Blade Show. So I have a feeling that they just rushed them to get them to Blade Show or to get a certain amount there. Now, I think that the, the heat treatment was messed up and the edge was, was very burnt. I think it was a little bit of both. Now, what is a burnt edge? Basically, a burnt edge is when they're done heat treating the steel and they go to sharpen it and they put it on their, their belt grinder and they're, they're putting an edge on it and they heat up the edge higher than what the steel was heat treated at, burning the edge, which makes for a bunch of issues. Now, the 20.5 that I tested, um, it took like six, I don't even know how many sharpenings, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of sharpenings in order to get into good steel. And the good steel that it wound up getting into wasn't even that great, but it was a lot better than what it was when I first started. So I had to take a lot of life off the, the, the steel or the blade in order to, to even make it somewhat useful. Now, before that, when I had experienced this, I didn't know what I was looking at because I didn't have enough experience yet to know what a good burr looks like, what a bad one looks like, and so on and so on. So by the time when I seen it again, <clears throat> I knew right away, this is bad, like this is not good. Here we have three of the machetes that I bought, three of the choppers I bought at different price ranges. This one's about 10 bucks. This one's about 30, and this one's about 60, 70 bucks. And then I also have the Polish custom knife that we'll, I'll probably be compare. I know this isn't the size, you know, the size is a lot smaller, but this is still a good chopper. And, you know, I, I think I might still compare it next to these guys, I'm not sure. I haven't taken this one out of the box yet, but the one that has the issue, you would think would be this one. I gotta take it out of the package. We'll take it out here in one second. It's this one, it's this $30 one. So we'll take a look at these here in one second. Let's take a close look at this burnt edge. Now, if you look here at the heel, you will see this flakiness. Now, this is exactly what I seen on that Demco. This is how the burr would come up. It was coming up like flakes. Like I can literally, I can pop them up and pop them down. Uh, I actually already folded them over. When I first took it out of the package, they were facing straight up like that. But you see how it's like it's like a flake. It's not like a wire. It, it's very weird. And like I said, the only time I've seen this, it's always been on edges that, that seem really bad. And then look at that. Look at what happened right there when I took that off. Now this edge is semi-damaged. When it popped off, it took steel with it. Not good at all. Now if we gum up the edge you'll see there's more damages up the edge. Now, I know this is a chopper, so it's gonna get damages. You know, this I'm not really that worried about right here, but it does show like that they didn't take the time to, or maybe it's just because the, the steel was so burnt, it was difficult for them to develop a good burr, but they did not cover a burr all the way from heel to tip, and the burr they did get was obviously very, very burnt at the very least. It could be a bad heat treatment. I'm not sure. It could be either a bad heat treatment or it could be just a bad um, burnt edge. But yeah, you can see it's just, it, it's not normal to see it, a burr like that. Normally a burr comes up and it's almost like a, like built up steel that makes a wire. This is like square flakes. And the fl I don't know why it comes up like that, or you know, I have no idea. I don't know if it's because of how burnt it is. It's just something that happens, a reaction, I don't know. 
um, I, you know, I guess I'd have to do a lot more testing or a lot more, I, I'd have to get a lot more deeper into it to, to really understand it to the, to the depths of which, to understand why it does that. Yeah, you know, I wanna say it has good balance, but I don't even, I don't even know if that's true. Um, I'm surprised that the $30 one, you know, let's check out this, let's check out the $10 one really quick before I jump to conclusions, because <clears throat> this one could be sh cr absolutely crap too. Okay, so <clears throat> let's take a look at this edge now. Well, the dull as can be, I'll say that much. <laughs> it is not sharp at all. If I zoom into the edge, I can see a metal wire, which is why it's dull. Like it's literally dull, dull as can be. You know what, this one has a poor angle. It actually has two angles. So they put, they started sharpening it at one angle and then they swapped and put a very obtuse angle on top of the angle they started with. So it looks like a 40 degree angle or something. I mean, it is very obtuse. And when I look at it like this, there is no ape, like it's not, it's not like this. It's like, like that. So, you know, you can already just tell, you know, that that's, that's not going to do well. And it, it, it swerves. So if I look down the apex, I can see it like swerving. It's so crazy, man. But, you know, you get what you pay for, right? This is a $10 machete. Um, if you wanted to have a decent edge, you're going to have to put it on there yourself. So, you know, does that cost the amount to just get a good one? Maybe. Um... You know, this is built for more toughness. It's very thin, um, a little flimsy, a little wobbly, but it's 10 bucks, right? Um, I'm sure, you know, it's relatively comfortable in the hand. I, well, you know, we'll see how the shock goes. This is definitely more robust, a little bit heavier. Could probably do a bit more damage if, <clears throat> you know, if, as long as the, the edge will hold up and not roll, chip, and break. Um, now, here is the next one. Now this one's actually pretty cool. Um, it's also not the sharpest, but I actually, I, I don't mind this one. Um, the wooden handle's really nice on it. Nice and comfortable, you can hold back or choke forward. This nub is a little bit high for me, but you know, I can still make it work. And if you look, it angles downward. So like it cants down like that. So, you know, it kinda, this tip kinda points lower than the heel of the blade you know, making it kind of a little bit heavier up in the front end, which will probably make it chop, you know, decently well. Um, but, you know, we'll see how these test. I believe this one was, what steel was this? Okay, yeah, it's just stainless. <laughs> it's just stainless steel, whatever that means. is They, I, they don't say what steel it is. Um, this one is O2 tool steel. So this one theoretically should probably do the best, seeing as that it has a custom heat treatment and all that. But, you know, hey, we'll see, because I have seen even custom heat treatments be compromised. You know, it just depends. But, you know, these are going to be fun to swing, and I will be showing that video here moving forward, and we'll see how they work. <laughs>
Okay, guys, I'm not sure how much I showed you from this, but I did attempt to to remove the burr off of this one, the flaky burr. It went half well, half bad. Um, I got rid of it from like here to here, but then the other half is just not, not coming off. Um, you know, as far as this one goes, you know, I tuned it up just a little bit. It, it does feel quite a bit better, but the thing is, it, it's not sharp. It's just not sharp. It needs a new edge angle, so there's really nothing I can do. This one, um, the burr, I mean, the burr looks like a decent burr, <clears throat> but it is just not wanting to come off. I got a lot of it off, but a lot of it is just still there. Um, again, the angle is just so obtuse, like when I look at it, it's really weird, like, it's got two angles. So, th this is like, I don't even know, I would guess this is like, probably, so, if this is a 45, it's probably like a 40 degree edge angle. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating either, it is high. So, seeing that it's such a high angle, it just doesn't have the ability to get to a good apex, and I mean, it is so obtuse, and, you know, it just is what it is. So in order for this one to be anything good, it would need to be completely reprofiled. This one, um, this one's decent. I'm not even going to complain about that one. And then this one, uh, most likely the heat treatment shot. <clears throat> Let's say it's just the burnt steel. Let's say it's just burnt the burnt edge. It could probably be... Um, you know, tuned up a bit. You know, I was able to get it sharp back here. Um, where, well, where the burr is gone at. Um, but there's a lot of spots where you can feel micro tear out. You can feel that when the burr came off, it took steel with it or left steel behind. I tried getting rid of it, but, you know, um, it, it'll just have to come off with some chapping. So, anyways, um, hopefully this was... Uh, <laughs> Hopefully this benefited you somehow, some way, shape, or form. At the very least, you got to look at what possibly a burnt edge could look like at its worst. Now, even though this one did come up with a regular burr, or it had a regular burr on it, that doesn't mean it's not burnt too. It most likely is. Um, you know, in order for them to sell these so cheap, they grind these things so fast. I would, I would put money. I'd bet money that there are a lot of sparks flying when they're sharpening this. So it's probably the same, you know, and that's why the burrs is not wanting to come off. Plus it's just so obtuse. That's why it's not going to come off, but you get what you pay for. You definitely get what you pay for. So, you know, if you're going to buy uh, um, something that you're actually going to want to rely on and, and actually, you know, use out in the field long term, just buy something decent. Buy something decent. Spend a little bit extra money. Yes, I, I know we don't all have extra money to spend on certain things, but it, it, it'll it'll work out so much better for you to just buy a little bit better rather than buy something that you're not going to be able to use at all or buy something that will literally go to crap right away and something you'll wind up forgetting about and just wind up throwing away. Anyways, work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.